Hi everybody, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you know you're going to get my signature tips and tricks to help you step up your game and take it to the next level. I'm going to give you some tips to help you win more often and have a lot more fun while you're doing it. I've had a lot of questions about just traditional Team Slayer games, uh, specifically how to move around and engage in combat, so I'm going to go over some of those pointers right now. Um, I'm playing on the map Haven. This is quickly becoming my very favorite map, map, no question about it, hands down, I really like this one. We're on the blue team and I'm going to show you peak shooting to start with, okay? This is where you're going to slide from side to side while you shoot your opponents, uh, alternately hiding behind cover and then coming out to shoot. So you'll see I come out here to shoot, get the headshot, fall back to the side, reload, come back out and uh, re-engage the enemy, okay? You'll see uh, by using this method, I'm able to pick up a triple kill right off the bat. All right, very, very easy to do. Just sliding back and forth, side to side. And look at this, uh, we're not even 30 seconds into the game, I've already got an ordinance drop, okay? So you can see it's very, very effective method, doing very well with this. Um, and the great thing about this method is you can apply this on any map in many situations. There's almost always something that you can peek around, okay? So there, there's almost some type of obstacle or uh, item in the way, a wall, a corner, anything that you can just slide back and forth and uh, stay out of harm's way. You can see the reason I died there is I wasn't strafing enough, okay? To strafe or juke, is to, that means to move si from side to side. I kind of got caught up right in the middle there and that's a big no-no because on every map there's gonna be some choke points or some hot spots. And these are very highly contested areas where either players are required to go through those areas to move around the map or they simply provide a distinct advantage uh, over the map, okay? So those are the hot spots and the choke points. For this map, uh, it's going to be right in the top center of the map. For most other maps, it's usually areas in the middle or uh, uh, near the highest points on the map. Those are usually the hot spots and the choke points. Now just because you want to control the choke points and the hot spots doesn't mean you want to be directly in them. You saw that red player I just took down right there. He's standing right out in the middle, very, very exposed. Alternately, look at the way that I approach it. I'm kind of using the bumpers for cover, moving from side to side. I can fall back and use my regen shield. More on that in a moment. But you can see that I'm just strafing from side to side. It's very difficult for my opponents to anticipate where I'm going to be. Very difficult for them to lay consecutive shots on me. Uh, uh, in contrast, the red team is doing the exact opposite. In many cases, they just come rushing down the corridors straight towards the middle, and me and my teammates are able to just uh, pick them off very, very easily. You can see here I'm very patient. My shields are down. I don't make a move. I'm not in any danger. I just let my shields come back up before I peek back around the corner. And then I'm able to re-engage my enemies and just continue cleaning up shots. And I'm able to do very well in this game because we're playing together as a team, okay? Uh, I'm playing with a good friend of mine, Fear Me For I Am Death. He's a fantastic player. We've been friends for a long time. And we work very, very well together. I mean, really what you want to do is there's two th components to communication, or to teamwork. One is communication, right? You want to communicate with your teammates, talk about what's going on, where your opponents are, uh, what your status is, uh, weapons, uh, anything that's going to help each other win the game, okay? What you don't want to talk about is mindless chatter. There's nothing that drives me crazier than teammates who are communicating in the game about things outside of the game, okay? You want to keep your, your chatter focused on the business at hand. If you want to talk about... Um, your favorite TV shows and what you did last night and, and uh, you know, anything else. Talk about that in the lobby between games. That's what me and my friends do. We're always telling jokes and sharing stories. But we do it in the lobby. When we're in the game, it's all business. Uh, that's how you gotta, that's how you have to approach the game if you want to win, okay? Um, the other thing when it comes to teamwork is even if you're not communicating with your teammates, maybe you're with a bunch of random people who don't have headsets, um, what you really got to do at the very minimum is use the buddy system, okay? You don't want to go out there lone wolf style and just try to, to take on the entire opposing team all by your lonesome, okay? You got to stick together and help each other out. If you do so, you're going to end up with a lot of assists, a lot of easy kills, and you're going to end up winning a lot of games simply by just sticking close to at least one of your other teammates. Let's see, look at this again, side to side, just strafing and juking. I, didn't able, I wasn't able to pull that one out, but uh, I'm going to finish the game up with a frenzy. 
and uh, largely that's because of the strafing and the juking uh, technique that uh, I employ during the game. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to talk about? Um, the regen shield. You know, I've been uh, kind of experimenting with some of the different um, the different uh, armor abilities, and I really like this regen shield a lot. Um, and speaking of teamwork, it, the regen shield is the only ability that I'm aware of, maybe the, the auto turret as well, that assists your teammates as much as it assists you. Any of your teammates can benefit from that regen field, okay? Not just you. So it's it's really a fantastic uh, um, ability to have, especially even if there's only one or two players on your team that are using it. Uh, everybody on your team can benefit from it. So, you know, if you're communicating with your teammates and you're low on uh, shields, you can simply call out to whoever has that regen shield, ask them to put it up. They can put it up for you, and, uh, you know, you can benefit from that. And so that's that's a really kind of a neat armor ability because things like sprint and jetpack and hologram don't directly benefit your team uh, in in the same way that that regen shield does. So I, I really like it quite a bit. Um, the other thing I want to talk about a little bit is ordnance drops. Uh, a mistake I see a lot of people making is that with the ordnance drops, as soon as they earn them, they just uh, drop them right away. Even if they're in a bad situation, even if they're in the middle of combat, and a lot of times those ordnance drops just go to waste. They're not even really used to their full effect. It's okay if you uh, die while you have an ordnance drop, okay? It will come back when you respawn and you'll probably be in a much better position to utilize that ordnance drop, okay? So just be patient with the ordnance drops. Let them, you know, let the situation dictate when to activate it. Here I have the um, the uh, shotgun, the Promethean shotgun, the scatter shot, I believe it's called. And you can see I've got the uh, the speed boost and that uh, combination with the scatter shot works very, very well. Able to finish the game up here, I have 26 kills and only six deaths. I had a killing frenzy, two triples. Uh, four doubles, three killing sprees, uh, again, 26 kills, six deaths, so a really solid outing. I hope I was able to share some tips with you that you can use in your own gameplay to win a lot more games and have a lot more fun while you're doing it. Um, please remember to leave a comment down below. Please like and comment. Add this video to your favorites. I have a lot of other amazing videos on my channel, so please make sure to check them out. A lot more to come, so make sure that you've subscribed. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.